In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Boink on a USB flash drive using Linux so that uh, you don't need a Windows license. I will assume that you're using a Windows computer to set up the, the flash drive. Uh, so we're going to go through a number of steps formatting the drive. Uh, you need ideally a 2 gigabyte drive. The 4 gigabyte drives do sometimes give trouble on older systems, but they can be used. You then need to download the ISO, and usually you can burn it to a CD using uh, the free software with Windows, <coughs> or you can download software of your choice. I then show you the uh, instructions to follow to install the software, and some tricks in your BIOS you can use if it doesn't work properly. The first thing you need to do to get Linux running with Boink is to take a USB flash drive, and you need to format it to the default sizes. You can set the volume label to anything you like. And before you click start, do make sure that it is on F80 or FAT, uh, the FAT16 file system. If you don't do that, uh, it won't work on some older systems. Uh, by formatting it, you will erase everything on that USB flash drive. I'm now going to show you how to collect the software off the internet. You go to the Boink site and uh, click on the download button. And then you'll notice there's an all versions link. And you follow the all versions link. And right at the bottom, you will see an option for .ux, which is a pre-installed Linux and uh, Boink installation. Typically, you will want to use the 32-bit version unless you've got more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. Sometimes the link doesn't work. If the link doesn't work, go back and use one of the other links. So follow the .ux link for more information or for alternate download sites. And if you scroll down, you will see that there are quite a number of places you can download it. So there's the 32-bit version, which will run on most systems with 4 gigabytes or less. And there's the 64-bit version, which will be used or machines with greater than six, with greater than four gig of RAM. If you scroll down towards the bottom, there are installation instructions for the various options. I'm going to assume you're going to use a USB drive because you have no hard drive, and uh, you've got a USB stick of one gigabyte or two gigabytes. Uh, you burn the ISO image to a CD. You can do that with Windows. Boot the CD and then follow the instructions. Uh, when you create the disk. You need to select the amount of disk space reserved for Boink. When you are prompted to select how much disk space to use, slide the slider approximately two thirds away from the beginning, uh, or choose any other amount you prefer, but sliding it to about two thirds works well. Yeah, you can see a system booting, and if you press the delete key, you should get into the BIOS. On some computers, it's the Control S combination or F2 or F10. Uh, we'll explain on your manual. All your usual settings are here and you can change which priority the boot is. Uh, you're usually going to start with your CD ROM and then change it to USB after you've done the initial boot from the ISO image. Usually, if you don't have a hard drive, it won't matter what settings. But to be safe, if you do have a hard drive, you can set the, set the SATA mode to IDE. Under your power management, if you put the AC back function to full on, that allows the computer to automatically boot when the power comes on, for example, if there's been a power failure. Under the health section, you can see the CPU fan fail warning. It's very useful to switch that on in case the fan fails, and then it will beep. Uh, your system fan warning, if you have a fan that can be detected, can also be helpful to enable. Not all of them do. If you have any problems, go to failsafe and it sets all the defaults back to normal. And then you can save your settings. Uh, remember that if you do use the failsafe settings, you will need to reset your custom settings in the BIOS. Here you can see a .ux system that has booted. It will prompt for a password, which is Boink, if you are connecting to a wireless network. 
you can configure your wireless network in the top corner. When you reboot the system, you may find that on some of the older systems, it gives problems and it says there is no USB drive installed in the system. As you will see in this demonstration, it is possible to get around this by switching the power off at the wall, waiting a few seconds and then switching it back on. And the system will then boot normally. I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have a look at my channel, you'll see there are a number of other videos on Boink and related topics. And also if you look in the description area underneath the video, you will find all the URLs I've used so that you don't need to retype them in. If you are going to use .ux, uh, there are a few tips that will make things easier. For example, if you use the uh, automatic login option, you can see that it will take you to your desktop without prompting for a password, which is quite useful. The other option you may like is the remote desktop option. And by enabling that, you can uh, log into the desktop from a remote computer, for example, your, your main Windows computer, and uh, using a program called Type VNC or some other similar software. You can take over the screen. So you, if you want to, you can put the computer in a cupboard or something like that and uh, keep it out of the way. And then uh, while that computer is processing Boink, you can uh, control it from your main computer.